Let's meet our guests. Hey! Great to be here, guys! Oh. We have three sisters, and over here are three Geordie lads. Why don't you introduce yourself, boys? I'm Gary. Yes. Um, this is uh, one of my brothers, Chris, and this is my brother, Tony. Lovely to meet you guys. Any irrational fears over here? Yeah, um, I've got a few of snakes. I can't stand the things. In urban life, you don't generally come into contact with snakes, do you? Oh, that's a thing. My wife owns three snakes. So you're scared of snakes, I but am. you own three? I'm more scared of his wife, though. <laughs> Tony. Yeah. Tell me about yourself. Um, at the moment, I'm into flying. I've just started some flying lessons. I'm quite enjoying it. It has its ups and downs at times, but I'm in oh, it. Hey. <laughs> Gary, you're probably going to take this seriously. I, I mean, I'm, I'm oh, feeling competitiveness no. coming out of oh, you. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm just uh, up for anything. Um, got me, me team behind us. We'll, we'll have a good laugh. And we'll see what happens. No disrespect, girls, but we're here to win. <laughs> so so we win. <laughs> Gary? Oh, nice. Thank you. Chris! Thank you very much. And Thanks Tony, much. and for obvious reasons, I'm going to call you the way <laughs> So, Chris, you're up for this. I mean, you look fantastic. Is this something you would normally chill out in? Not really, no. It's not my usual you just wear it so well. Well, I, I can pull anything off the bed. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't scare the hair. Good luck, Chris. Chris <laughs> down. Look at Chris there. In his smock, looking like an agricultural Vincent van Gogh. Now, that's how you get across a farmyard. Oh, so athletic, even in wellies. Where you jam that spoon, Chris. Now remember to win Hare's carrots. Chris has got to get three eggs to Hare's breakfast table without them turning into an omelette on the way. Steady as he goes. Who's left those hay bales there? Very inconsiderate. And on to the stepping stones. Now, these are a health hazard. He has to brace himself. Oh, but the egg has gone! The Hare's freaked, and he's off. Not to 10 miles an hour in under 20 seconds. Look at that. One scared down and just two left, Chris. Slightly more gentle. Spoon insertion this time. Thanks, Chris. Hair's back. Slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady does win the race, unless the race is to Tommy, in which case, slow and steady doesn't win the race. And now onto the spinning stepping stones. Chris will have respect for these since last time. I believe in you, Chris. That's right, Tony believes in you, but he also believes that orcs are real. Oh, and the egg is shattered, the hair is scared. <laughs> Off he goes, rumbling tummy. Right, Hare's had two scares now, which means Chris needs to get this egg, otherwise he's out of luck. OK, Hare's back. Over the hay bales. Uh, lovely, that. Confidence. And now, onto the spinning steps of doom. I told Badger, just keep them stationary. No one likes a rotating step. Oh, no, that's the third scare for Hare. It's all over for Chris. No carrots for him, no breakfast for Hare. Still, try a hay bale with semi-skim milk. Delicious. Uh, I thought if I kind of ran in with energy, it might change what was ultimately a, a complete failure. Yes, it was, wasn't it? Kind of, kind of paid from it. It was terrible. <laughs> There's no way around it, really, is no. there? All right, you broke all three eggs, which means hungry hair has scarpered, taking his carrots with him. That's bad news. Great effort, though. You're going to get some applause, but they're more kind of pity applause, Chris. I, I deserve that. All right, okay. <laughs> okay, so the table is set. There it is. Full of presents. Ours looking a bit flat. Now, Gary's only got to get one balloon through the bush to the party without bursting it, and he'll win Hare's carrots. Oh, Gary. There's helium in those balloons. Gary better be careful he doesn't take off. <laughs> oh, it's close in there. The balloon is wobbling. Could be the forest air conditioning. Oh, very close. Oh, well done. Well done. Yeah. Right on top of no, just take a little bit for a minute. Here we go, he's got a gun. Hair's oh, desperate oh. to get that party started. Yeah. 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 And Gary's through, everyone looks very happy there. Still on his first balloon, and he has two sections of thorny covered undergrowth left. On to the second bush. Hair's in the party mood. Yeah. As 
that's what he looks like in party mood just the same. You're right on top of one, mind you. That yeah, one that you saw that before. Very low blood sugar levels, the hair right now could really do the slice of gatto. No pressure, Gary. But a hair's sweet tooth depends on you. That's a bit close for comfort in there. Oh, well done. Through the second bush. One more to go, and he's done it. Right, here we go. Good news. Gary's still on his first balloon, and no scares. Bang! Ha-ha, <laughs> sorry. Couldn't resist that. I don't get out enough. Tension's rising. So is hair's blood pressure. So close. Lose your loafer there, Gary. <laughs> You'll never find it again in that thicket. Oh! And Gary has collapsed! The stress of it has sent him plummeting to the floor and hairs off! Terrified! And he's down! Has Gary need a defibrillator? Well, I thought it was hair that was scared, but it turns out Gary was petrified. But he's up now, just one scare down and two balloons left. Hair's back. He's a glutton for punishment. And cake. Nobody was harmed during the making of this thicket-based entertainment. He's going to need a steady hand. Balletic there from Gary. Hair's watching every move he makes. Every breath he takes. Almost there, but the thorns abound. A little bit higher. I'm only five foot yet. That's a little bit Bring it through, pull it through, go on, bring it through, bring it home. Bring it home. Yeah. And he has brought it through, he's done it. Gary's certainly in the party spirit. Someone give him a carrot, for goodness sake. <laughs> Welcome home, Owl. Get the wind beneath my wings. Dude! That was so powerful. Very happy with that. <laughs> now, the, the moment that everyone will remember from that whole <laughs> challenge was when the balloon went off and for some reason <laughs> you dived to the floor. <laughs> I just it? didn't expect this. I just I knew it was going to pop. But I just didn't expect it. Is it is your break dancing? <laughs> well done. You successfully got a balloon through the hedgerow so hair will give you three of his carrots. Oh, everyone's a winner. Well done Gary. Thank you. <laughs> Thunderbirds are go! Sorry, that's the wrong show. Stop, 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 stop! Stop! Tony's made current contact. And he's got one. It's in the basket. The world's most boring picnic camper. Hare can't believe anyone can penetrate his state-of-the-art alarm system. Stop! Not yet. the triple now. Stop! Oh, dear, just the single. She's a single lady. All the single lady. Oh, Tony! Tony! Bitten off more carrots than he can chew. To turn off the alarm, Tony must now give them back to their rightful owner. A very paranoid and easily scared hair. Keep going! Nadia's seizing her chance, going for the double. But she's blown it too, and that is one scare each. Back go the carrots and at your property, my dear. <coughs> Hair's looking rattled. Or maybe a bolt's come loose. Tony's grabbed a bunch of threes. He's dropped them. Reclaim them and it's going to pop them in that wicker basket. Deftly done. Teammates are winching them up. Some might say winding them up. Not He's going for another two carrots. He's dropped them as well, but yes. Going for a sort of scooping technique there. And they're in the basket finally. I get the feeling that Tony might want to be winched forward. Yeah, it's all over the place there. Nadia now needs to get a move on. Cos begins to forget she was even in the contest. Trying to claw back some time by going for a bunch of three, but it's a tricky one. Going for the old foot and grab, foot and grab. So is Tony by the looks of it, but will it work? It's not working! Yep, he's got a firm grip on the carrots, and at two more carrots landed successfully. Go on, go on, come on. Nadia's still struggling with those three. Managed to grab them, but she looks shaky. Never leave a carrot behind! Have you learned nothing? Just on the ten seconds left, she needs to make carrot touch wicker for them to count. Yes! No! Yes! Time's up and it looks like Nadia let the carrots out the basket. Today.
Okay, you've helped Tao, but you've also stolen from him. But if you can leave here with £15,000, who cares? So who's going on for a chance to take home that massive amount of cash? Who's earned the most carrots? Well, Nadia Siham and Sakina, Sister Act, you still have a total of three. <laughs> Which means why eyes with a total of 11 carrots, you're going on for the chance to win 15 grand! <laughs> down to this, three correct answers means £15,000. Three wrong answers, nothing. Here comes Hare, sniffing the carrots on the breeze. And if you listen closely, on the very breath of the wind, you'll hear your first question. The Hare was a fan of the boy band One Direction in last year's The X Factor. However, he can't remember which judge mentored them. Do you remember who it was? Is it A, Danny Minogue, B, Louis Walsh, or C, Simon Cowell? Louis Walsh had oh. Wagner in all them oh, lots. He did, oh, I. He did, didn't he? The one X Factor? The winner was that uh, Essex lad, wasn't it? Um, Matt Cardell. Aye, Matt Cardell. I think Cardell. it was Danny Minogue that had him. Matt, you should did. Well, definitely uh, Simon Cowell didn't. He didn't give him hugs. Simon had the groups, he did. I'm sure Simon had the groups. But hold on, who were the groups? One Direction. Don't watch it. Oh, I didn't watch it either. It's a two liars. It's a first year. I haven't watched it. Watched it. Uh, I think it's the same as Let's just be clear what happens now. If you get this right, the gate opens and Hare takes a step closer to those carrots. Get it wrong though, you're going to scare the hare. How positive are you? Go Same and cool, George. We're going for it. Oh. Okay. And take the plunge. in the garden. If you get this question right, you're going to lift the net and Hare gets closer to his carrots. The Hare was playing the original London version of Monopoly with Hedgehog and Owl last night. He had two of the green properties, Regent Street and Oxford Street, but the game finished with the Hare upending the board when Owl wouldn't sell him the third. Which street wouldn't Owl send him? Is it A, Bond Street, B, Vine Street, or C, Commentary Street. My well, parents live on Vane Street in Newcastle. Believe so we know that's orange. So we know that's orange. Yeah. Yeah. Extraordinary. And, and I met a girl it. once that lived in Coventry. Yeah. So so guys Tony, is this another one of your stories? No, honestly, <laughs> it's definitely what, Bond Street. It's, what we're going for? Is it a green? Well, program? greens, but I saw I Bond Street before I came up. I play Monopoly all the time. Yeah. I play by myself. I think there'll be the shoe. I'm 100% positive. If you're sure it's A, Bond Street, then take the plunge. Do, 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 do. On my head be it. Get in. <laughs> right, so that's two questions in a row. You just gotta get the third one right. Come on, boys. And you'll drop the net on hair. Now he's not gonna be happy about that, but you're gonna be fifteen thousand pounds the richer, so what do you care? Don't. The hare wants to write a poem to express his true feelings for a certain lady hare, but wants to make it as short as possible. Which type of poem should he choose? Is it A, limerick, B, sonnet, or C, haiku? Thoughts, boys? Well, I, it's, it's I, not I, a limerick, first of all. I, I don't know why I think sonnet. And I've got sonnet. no idea why. Why don't you think it's limerick? Because that's, I'm not going to say it, the only ones I know are mine with funny words, so I don't want to say one. <laughs> I think it's a sonnet. Oh, well, haiku. That's a haiku. 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 Nice to meet you. Haiku. Haiku. I'm sure it's sonnet. I don't know why, but Wait, I'm sure it's sonnet. Okay. So if you're right, you're going to with £15,000. And if we're not, I'll if be writing a limerick. Wrong, yeah. Writing with Chris. Who yeah, you're going to be writing poems about this moment because you're going to scare her and you'll only have two scares left before you leave with nothing. So it's quite an important decision. It is, isn't it? It won't be. OK, Chris. If you're absolutely sure, take the plunge. Come on, kick it. Go 
guys, I'm really sorry. The correct answer was C, Haiku. Not to worry. Because well, Hare's coming back towards the carrot. And on, there's another question on the wind. Come on. Team hook. Team hook. Fox is on a fad diet where all he eats is fruit. So when the hare asked him what he wanted for dinner, Fox replied, some Brabans and Lord Lambourns, please. The hare's still none the wiser. What sort of fruit does Fox want? Is it A, peaches, B, melons, or C, apples? I think, as an apple eater, seriously, as an apple eater, I think it's Lord Lambourns. And Brabans. There's two different types there. Brabans are apples. And apple fact is I eat them. I, I know Brabans are apples. I'm, I'm happy with that. Brave oh, burns are up, I'm happy. I'm happy. We'll go for that. If you make the right decision, the hare will be caught in the net, and you'll net yourself £15,000. But if it's wrong, you'll scare hare. And that means it'll go down to one final question. Yeah. Come on, go, Yeah. I'm pretty Red sure. Apples, See apples? Yeah. Oh. Take the plunge? Take the plunge. Yes! Yeah! Gary, Chris, Tony, you've won yourself £15,000. Now I'm bringing the net up, all right? Everybody wins. You get your carrot hamper and those smashing boys get themselves the money. My name's Jason and I live in a magical forest with my mate's hair. We're always here, so pop down any time. But remember the one rule, don't scare the hair. So, if you are a hare watching this, Please don't have nightmares. Yeah, I thought it was a nice question.